Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I need to start calling you guys the ultimate killers or something because you guys are destroying the like button. I wanted to call you guys the ultimate likers, but nobody wants to be called that. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to be called the ultimate likers. <laughs> Speaking of ultimates, though, Rontaro just got his cheeks clapped, and we don't even know what his ultimate ability is, but I'm about to figure out who did it right here, right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up! Cause here we go! So when I ended the episode, Monokuma popped up and gave us the Monokuma file, and we are gonna read it right here, right now, about the cause of death. But we know that Ron Taro took balls to the forehead, so let's figure out what it actually says, like the, the legal terms. The victim is Ron Taro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. Wasn't it like ultimate who gives a shit? The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Just say it like it is. He took balls to the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. So does that mean he was like a painful death? I mean, a painless death, not a painful death. Monokubo file one has been added to the... I'm sorry, everybody. I'm getting hyped. I'm getting too hyped that my hair turned into ultimate fuckboy mode. What was that? Looking like ultimate bowl cut. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on. So I'm going to assume he wasn't, right? But if Rontaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually... That's the same thing that happened in the first game, though. The mastermind was actually the one who died first. So Rontaro, I'm watching you, buddy. <laughs> I'm still watching you, buddy. I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rontaro is really dead. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rontaro. That's... Mastermind? I'm sorry. What are we talking about? Please. Kaede, please explain what is going on and spare us no detail. Yeah. yeah, I will. Shuichi and I explained to everyone. Oh, thank God we're not going through it word for word again. We told them about the possibility of the mastermind hiding among us and about the trap we had set in the library to lure them out. And that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check and discovered Rontaro's body. I wish I knew all the names of the characters so I could see who's here right now, and then maybe the ones who aren't here are the ones who went behind the bookcase in the library. But then again, you know, that could have been just a little trick. Somebody could have just pretended to go in, and then the library bookcase closed, and then they went out that back door that's right next to the bookcase, and then they came in and was like, oh my god, Rontaro's dead! You know, killers play like that all the time. I see. So that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. <laughs> So you use those cameras I modified for this bullshit? But you know. But why would you keep something so important a secret from us? Because one of you could have been the mastermind, you dumbass. <laughs> one. <laughs> I'll get over it soon. But Ryoma, he always making me giggle. He's always making me giggle. Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But... But if there are cameras, won't this case be solved really easily? Oh man, that's so boring! Wait! Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now! <sighs> the culprit could be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then... Alright, let me go get the cameras. Right? Okay, I've got them. Well... It was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because well, I didn't really want that camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Here, it's these three cameras. Uh, now, we um, just have to develop the film. I, I bet you it's not going to show shit. Maybe like a hairy ankle or something. Allow me to perform the task. That's wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? I was going to say something smart there, but I couldn't think of anything right away. Oh, part of the gang gang, I guess. Just one part of the gang. I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? Huh? I'll develop the photo so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't butt into our... But she ignored my objection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. Oh. Oh. I am a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Oh. Hey, give those back! No me. need to worry. We all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. I don't believe that at all. Oh, but bye, gang gang, part of the gang. Wait, give the cameras back. It was pointless to yell at her. Mona Fanny left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my. Ah, uh, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was being careless. Um. It probably okay. She says she developed photos, then give photos back. 
That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. I was laughing inside. Atua it's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now, we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Uh, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. Is that alright? If it's alright with you, could we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? Huh? Shuichi! I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you. As a detective. Plus, you're super cute. No, I want to help you. We Shuichi. know what your end goal here is, Shuichi. We know. Of course, with you at my side, it'll be like having 100 people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's just get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually... It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? In other words... If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Huh? Oh, you're right! Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kirumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it! Okay, shut your after school special ass up. It's time to investigate. But it's good for them that I'm on the case because I'm known as the first case master, okay? I nominated myself as that title, but I solved the first two cases of the first two Dog and Rumpa games. Come on, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. I'm probably lying, huh? I don't know if I solved the Leon case, but I know damn well I did the chef one. I cooked that bitch up like a five-star meal. Let's talk to Ryoma. Let's get everybody's alibi. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it. Tell to me you. who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not. But cool. there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? huh? Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> and let me just warn you, the way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean the testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. Yeah, because anybody can bullshit you. I mean, you're right, Ryoma, but what's stopping you from throwing weights? Wait, 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 wait! Is it him? Hold on. He's the ultimate tennis player, right? He's used to throwing a ball back and forth, you know, direct hits. He's like a tennis playing prodigy. He could have thrown the balls at his head from a distance, didn't have to be super close, so there would be no blood spatter on his clothes. Because, you know, if you're killing somebody from that close, there could be like the splashback from the blood. Maybe he could have threw the ball from a far distance and just killed him that way. I got my eyes on you, Ryoma. I got my eyes on you, Ryoma. I like you, but I don't like you that much. All right, so he's suspect number one. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Damn. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? Everyone? That is correct. That would explain why they would forgo their survival in favor of a class trial. Um, but doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you well, agree? if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. Yeah. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. I agree. I don't think it's her, Kurumi. I don't think that it's Mew because she knew what they were up to by setting up the cameras, right? Or did she just know about the cameras but not know where they were setting it up? I definitely don't think it was her, though. Don't talk to me, crotch itch. I'm freaking busy. 
Mew continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's the controller for? Ah. Dun, dun, dun. It's a prone. Um, prone? Um, I don't mean to butt in the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the ganglion alliance to destroy humanity. I have no idea what she's talking about. Then... Wait a second. The controller is... <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese! She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. So there was a drone watching the library the whole time? Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. There's no way it was in there, though, because drones make a lot of noise. It's a drone! I told you, that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. Sumiki, shut up! I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. Okay, 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 okay. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. I know, but if it wasn't in the library, then this shit is useless. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help okay, the okay. investigation. Okay, That makes a lot of sense. Mew acting like the real MVP this right way, now. I appreciate that. I get that. out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Alright, I want her to live. I know we're not supposed to get attached to any Danganronpa characters. That's the first rule when you sign this Danganronpa game playing contract. Do not get attached to any characters. But she's very useful. She's very useful. Kind of like, um, Kazuichi. He was an inventor too, right? Drafting a floor plan. No, actually he was a mechanic. With photos? Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way. The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. I can't do shit about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Uh, shut geez. up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. God damn. Me. Udders. Udders. Actually, you're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. She is, though. That's facts. <laughs> Can we check on the drone? No, the drone's still doing its thing. It's working hard. It's working overtime. Let's talk to you, Sumugi. I don't know who killed Rontaro, but it's Monokuma's fault to happen. Because he pressured us. This happened. That motive he gave us is part of it, and so is that strange music. What strange music? Hey, that music I kind of goes, though. I like that music. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't I bet it. someone felt pressured by that and killed Rontaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um, anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. This is the last murder that happens here. Oh, God. Oh, it's your first time? Oh, we got a truth bullet. All right. Boom, 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 boom. It's been added to the truth bullet inventory or whatever it's called. It's only been like two months since I played this game, and I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I feel like I'm missing something. I should investigate more. How do I highlight the whole area? Hold on. Why am I smacking shit? How do I do that thing where uh, where I scan the room and then it tells me what I haven't seen yet? You guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on the top of the moving bookcase. Remember. It's still here. I should take it down now. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can't turn it off. Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Receiver on Shuichi has been added to the... <sighs> you know, Lil Uzi. Shoot Lil Uzi, you know what Front double doors. It's the front double doors that lead directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Rontaro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then when we ran over, That's true. we found Rontaro's body behind that bookcase. Mm. Huh, I wonder if Rontaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's When we see the pictures after the Monocubs develop them, that will be clear. Aww. I guess all we can do is wait. Okay, where's Rontaro's body? Because I'm trying to see it up close and personal. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs, and it leads to the hallway. Uh, By the way, this is a sliding door, see? 
It opens when you slide it. Whoa, cool. Okay. I did like none of us seen a sliding door before. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rontaro entered through this door? Uh, I can't um, say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Monocubs. Mm. You're right. We'll just have to wait. Well, I'm trying to wait, but... Oh, there it is, where the blood is, near the body. Mm. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rontaro's body? Uh, yes, um, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, we don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. Is there just somebody that's going to be kind of like um, a medical examiner here? Just like the other girl was from Danganronpa 2. Yeah, this dude took a nice ball to the forehead. That shit took a strike to the forehead. The last time I saw Rontaro, he was alive and well. I mean, he was alive, but was he really living, though? Hmm. He kind of seemed like he was out of it. Why did Rontaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rontaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot? Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We had to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rontaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey, um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective after all. Jeez. Sort of? You are a detective, remember? Uh, oh, okay. Right. Okay, so let's take a look at the bloody shot putt ball. A bloody shot putt ball is on the ground. Could it be? The shot putt ball, could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Ryoma's pretty strong, right? I mean, he's a big thing that comes in a little package. Fairly strong, huh? And pause on that. Mega Ultra Instinct pause on that one. What the heck did I just say? He's a big thing that came in the... Oh! Boom, 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 boom! Okay, let's check Rontaro's body. Um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rontaro's body. Okay, so he's going to be the medical examiner guy. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um. So we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, yes. Okay. For now, Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rontaro's pocket. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, I'm checking um, what he has on his person. There might be a clue and some money. Have you seen that Monokuma vending machine? I gotta get some presents for all you bitches. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede. Pull yourself together. Rontaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a key card on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh, then Rontaro really wasn't the mastermind. Y'all think? You think the actual mastermind is just going to get clocked on the head right off the bat? Mm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Rontaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Rontaro's belongings had been added to the... That's some nunchucks, you know what I mean? You know, sometimes you can't just use bullets, you got to use the chucks. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I just want to use the nunchuck, you know? I want to use the little nunchucky finster. So I think we're good here, though. Hmm. Something's bothering me. Why did Rontaro come to the library? It seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh. I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rontaro mentioned earlier. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. The game ended for you real quick. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. Huh? What? Uh, he might have um... come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. Uh... We could have worked together. But he didn't trust you all. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was sus of everyone. 
I have you, Kaede, but Rontaro didn't have anyone he could trust. That sucks, though. Hmm. When you can't trust anybody, that might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Whoa, oi, back up, back up! You barely Remember. know each other. Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not gonna give up, right? You're gonna save everyone? Yeah. Shuichi. Shuichi what? He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? Shuichi is right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. We're going to, but you guys are over here like kissing each other like this is a lifetime special. I'm very suspicious of Ryoma, first of all. I feel like I'm missing something. What? Okay, what are you missing? Globe? It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. Whoa, 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 spank it. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, 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 relax. The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through here. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I knew that. We all knew that. Okay, I'm not even gonna shoot a bullet at that. We been knew that. Like, that's the most obvious one. Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. How does it work? Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. This better be a big clue. Okay. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, so Rontaro was the one who opened it, or the mastermind opened it, or whoever opened that bookcase saw Rontaro, let go of the bookcase, clocked him on the back of the head with a ball, and then ran out somewhere. Oh, it closed on its own. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Moving bookcase has been added to the... But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rontaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. That was my theory as well. I thought that was the obvious theory here. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? The remember. nut dust on the card reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Or maybe Ryoma, who I'm very suspicious of, was just short enough to not trigger the sensors. Then... All right, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? huh? The nut dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Mm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? You mean they had their own nut dust? No. No, I remember exactly where I put all the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rontaro! No. I can't say for sure. What? We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Card reader dust has been added to the... That's me trying to get nut dust from my own nuts. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. Well, end the killing game that way too. I'm very suspicious of Ryoma. Very, very um. suspicious. Kaede, I think we've investigated the entire library now. Um. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't even get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those... But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Mm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Give me that ultimate detective title, man. I deserve that shit! Give me that hat, too! We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rontaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Everyone. Mm -hmm. Every single person. The six people that went down to the basement with Rontaro. Kaito, Ganta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himoko. Let's talk to them first. So the person who did it had to be fairly strong, hmm. according to Shuichi. They should have been in the game room, along with Rontaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. I think it might be the girl with the flower on her head. 
the Akido girl or Akido, the one who knows all the martial arts stuff or whatever. Because with that girl, she has precision, like to throw a ball like that because she's a master in the art of whooping ass. So where is she? She's not here. It's only Maki. Da, da, da. Um, Maki, you were in the game room when Rontaro was killed, right? Hey. What were you all doing down here? Rontaro was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? Uh, oh no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? huh? Because someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't. So know? trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body. Yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. I guess after caregiving for all those children, she but... just lost her soul. But why were all of you here in the first place? <sighs> it was Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us here together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't Did understand. he now? And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Interesting, huh? That as soon as he wanted to schedule that meeting, somebody got clapped. Seven people. Kaito, Ganta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rontaro. So Rontaro's dead. I definitely don't think it's Ganta. If it is, I'll kill him myself. Maki, she's basically saying that they should be sus of her, so I don't think it's her. Tenko, Kaito, Angie, Himoko. Four suspects. And uh, Ryoma. So five little piggies that went to the market on the bitches. We're gonna figure out who it is in this episode. But um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. I see. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Atuo would be useful. Huh? But what about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. That's it? Jeez. That does sound like something Kaito would do, though. How does it sound like something he would do? You barely know the guy. But... What's his last name? But well, why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, and what um, was Rontaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. Oh, uh, <laughs> did he now? <laughs> Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around 9, 10 p.m. Huh? What are you guys doing? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. So was um, them two outside? Then, did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? No. Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Ganta never joined us. Huh? Huh? Ganta wasn't with you guys. <sighs> Ganta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Mm. He was in the AV room by himself? Ew. Sus behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um, what other two? Like I Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Nah, 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 I can't be Ganta. No, no, Maki. Don't. Don't you put the blame on Ganta. Don't you put the blame on best boy Ganta. I can't leave yet. There are still things I need to investigate. Like, uh, what? Can I smack this up? I can't smack that up? What can I smack up? Who am I smacking up? Okay, well, sliding door. Hey, Shuichi, the AV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Kaede, have you ever been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. I did not know the AV room was right there. I thought the AV room was its own thing outside of the game room. Oh, damn, this is a nice place. Okay, okay. What's up, everybody? Wait! Wait! Gone to not murder anyone! Come on, I told man. you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him, all right. He's got the face of a killer. No way! No judge Ganta by his outside! On inside, Ganta gentlemen! Yes, you are, Ganta! Yes, you are! Hey, what's going on here? Oh, oh hey there, Kaede! We're just trying to ask him. Mm -hmm. yeah, just tell us while we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Mm -hmm. Or are you not the culprit? Are you not, not, not the culprit? Huh? Ganta not, not, no! Oh. It's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Well, no one's gonna answer it when you're asking weird ass questions like, are you not, 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 not the killer? Like, what the hell? Don't be not, not asking those shits. I think your questions are the problem. Hmm. Then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five. Oh my gosh. Shut your magician ass up. I just wanna make her disappear. You like, know? for my next trick. Hey, Ganta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? 
Um, Ganta happy to be invited to meeting, but Ganta think he not much help, cause he not smart. Bugs so are... Ganta in here alone, watching Bug Movie. Bugs Life? Huh? Ants? Um, what? How does that help? Honest. Bug Movie filled Ganta with fights, make Ganta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure, you do you, Ganta. But you know. But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? If you magic. don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. <gasps> huh? Ganta no can become girl Ganta. Then Ganta never become gentleman. Jeez. Kimiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that all right? Ganta, can you tell us what happened next? Ganta. Ganta, just need focus. If Ganta no focus, Ganta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That's it, really. Ganta just want to protect everyone. <sighs> but... You guys not gonna believe Ganta, huh? Cause Ganta is so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa! Calm down! You're making a really scary face! How can this Cause be? Ganta feels so useless! Huh. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? Ganta low-key got a little That's temper. True. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Ganta's alibi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. How are we going to verify it? We're going to put on the movie. It's a screen for the projector, but the projector is turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pole of sorts. Um. Huh? So what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you see some weird things, Shuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Ah, you think so? Sorry, you can treat it as me talking to myself. Wait, what kind of pole? Like a pole we can dance on? <laughs> what you talking about, huh? What kind of pole? Talk to this magician girl. The culprit is definitely Ganta. He's sus, no matter how you look at it. The fact that she's pointing the finger at Ganta so freaking hard makes me want to point this little finger at her. Video rack. Okay, maybe he picked out the movie, right? There are a lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh, oh, The Legend of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. That's the one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? Huh? The film won awards for its phenomenal music. U.S. audiences were moved to tears. Not me. I didn't cry. Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. I've never seen it, and I've never cried. Huh? What else do they have here? Hmm. I grabbed a movie at random, and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. Hey, um, is that kind of movie? <laughs> Find any movies over there? Um, nothing sus over here. Let's go look somewhere else. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong. I said it's nothing. There's nothing here but a bunch of movies. I mean, movies. Now you're Wait. right, movies. Big old movies. Kaede, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue, you can tell me. Here, let me take a look. Uh, no, don't come over here. Uh oh. A couple minutes later, he just stuffing a couple of random movies in his pocket. We were both looking down at the floor with beet red faces. Well, that's your damn fault, Shuichi. Better put that brim down what? a little low. I told you. Sorry. Let's investigate something else. About to investigate those titties in his room, you know what I'm saying? About to take a couple movies, investigate some movies. A video player for watching movies. There's no video inside though. Ganta, uh oh, Ganta lie. Why Ganta lie? This doesn't have anything to do with the case. Wait, he said he was watching a movie, and he's hella mad too. Okay, hold on. Let's talk to um Kaito Momota. Damn. Jeez, I can't believe that happened right next door to our strategy meeting. Hey. Kaito, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone here to meet in the basement, right? Huh? What? Am I one of your suspects now? Of course um, you are. No, um, that's not what I'm... Nah. nah, it's natural that you're sus of me. But I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the universe. Got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Yeah. Okay. Then... Well, now that we have the chance, let's take a look back at the entire incident together. Kaito went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. All right, then. Uh, where should we start? Hmm. After Kaede and I set up the cameras, we were keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey. When did you start asking people to go with you? So... I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one, and we all went there together. Okay. That's when we saw you. You, Ganta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rontaro. What about Ryoma? Why was he no. down there by himself? Now that I think about it, the monitor started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um. I want to confirm what you've told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting and no one went to the library, right? Oh. Yeah, we went straight to the game room, but right after we went inside... Gonta went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. 
so... After that, during the meeting, Rontaro left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it'd be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to go get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know... However, I can't guarantee that Gonta was in here the whole time. I see. I see, so we can't confirm Gonta's alibi yet. Hey. The library's rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Jeez. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rontaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. Mm. Mm. We didn't learn any new info, though. Come on. So I'm man. not cleared of suspicion yet, huh? No. Nah, don't worry. You're not a likely suspect. Dumbass. Hey, that's not something a detective should say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rontaro will have died for no reason. Got it. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. I love how everybody's trying to beef him up. I like it. I like the support. Shuichi. Yeah. Anyway, if you notice something or remember anything, let us know. Of course. Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate my own way. Okay. Are we good? I still need to investigate some things. Like... 5.1 speaker? I bet this huge speaker produces some high-quality sound. But that's not relevant now. It's not, is it? What about this backsliding door? Come on. Investigate that. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Um, is this connected to the hallway? You're right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I tried to open it, but... Ka-chunk! Huh? huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um, Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No. No, no. If it's Ganta, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. Why does it not matter? <gasps> He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. But that doesn't mean he could pick the door apart right. and then put it back inside. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Ganta, never Ganta do that. not eat door for breakfast? Breakfast most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. Huh? Huh? You think Ganta could eat this door? No. Uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing at the door. This sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Mm. So then he just forced his way through the gap. Why is she blaming him so hard? I am so sus of her right now. I think it's because I don't mm. like her at all. That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit through. Wait, a baseball? I mean, that ball did get thrown at the back of Rontaro's head. Maybe a direct hit, but no, that's, that's, that's so far-fetched. I guess an arm could fit through as well if it were thin enough. It's magic. So then he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the... F okay. All right, I had enough, big girl. Like, we got to get her out of here. Gonta no can use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. The two never have anything important to say. What's the, What's matter? the matter, Shuichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered. I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. I'm not sure if it really matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning how? Sliding door has been added to the... Pa, 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 pa. And my bowl cut came back because I did the pa, pa, pas. I think we've investigated everything here too. Then, what should we do next? Hey. For now, let's ask the others some questions. There are still people we haven't talked to. Aww. This would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We'd already know who the mastermind is. Hmm. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Something tells me that something's going to happen to those pictures. I think Mono Fanny isn't going to give them the right pictures. Or she's not going to give them all the pictures. I feel like I got a booger in my nose. You know when, like, your nose is itchy and you're trying not to pick it, but there's people watching? That's how I feel with all you right now. Like, I feel like I got a big-ass booger in my nose, but I'm trying to pretend I'm just like, oh, no, it's just itchy. I'm totally not trying to get this big-ass booger out of my nose. I think it might be her. Low-key. Uh, oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room, but she only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. That's weird. 
Mm -hmm. I see. That's right. I knew it. Gonto would be the most sus since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention he's also a male. Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how has your investigation been going? No. I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate hey, degenerate, male. don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie. Listen we up. agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie? Um... I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Oh, she does not look happy right now. Ugh. Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. She seems mean. <laughs> she seems very hurtful. We're not going back to the library. Is anybody else down here? Angie, the weirdo. Hey. You're not gonna investigate Angie? I... Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua too. Amen. Oh, Atua, please let Rontaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey. Now he going to hell. I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Mm. Rontaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. It'll be okay. Don't worry. I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. Huh? Sounds like a credit card rewards program. <laughs> I bet you Rontaro is looking up at us as we speak right now. He's looking up at us and he's like, wow, look at them investigating my death. And then he turns his head and he sees Nagito there. He sees everybody else that died there because nobody going to heaven. Nobody going to heaven in this game. What's up, Kokichi? Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Uh, are you here alone, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, why? Jeez. We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. What? Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Hey. Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Right? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that all right? Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rontaro was killed? Oh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. Then I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I was in the library smashing in Rontaro's head. Huh? Hey, quit screwing around and take this seriously. Why? Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? Huh? What? Because... If I gave you an honest answer, it'd just make everything boring, right? I'd rather just tell you at the class trial. That would be way more fun. The trial's gonna be boring anyway, since we'll have photo evidence. Stop it. What are you saying? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. That's wrong. This isn't a game. Rontaro was murdered. All our lives are at stake. How exciting. Exactly. It's a game of life or death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I want the class trial to start already. Is Kokichi actually enjoying the situation? Yeah, he horny horny. He horny for this investigation at the end so he can go in the class trial and just be like, <laughs> I think these are the last two students. Oh, Kaede, Shuichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on the lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, from here, we could keep an eye on the basement and it was close to the library too. You're right. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very I much. I understand. Thank you very much. Lookout classroom has been added to the... Hey. Is that all you want to ask? Um... Oh, may I ask you one more question? Specifically about that vent. By the way... It appears to be connected to this classroom but we're too small to fit through. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching this classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we're in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that really? to my memory bank. I will be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Classroom vent has been added to the bra 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 bra. That's somebody like looking for revenge. Thank you very much. I hope much. my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Mm. Kibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. <laughs> a past life? 
How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? So he's not a human? He's a guy that looks like a human? I thought he was a human in a robot body. The hell? I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? Huh? How did you know? You see. My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware. Well, so, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall, eating supper. Ah, the other yes. people there with me were Mew, Kurumi, and Sumugi. The monocups prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as... Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake, or some such. Mm. The pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. Hey! And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Mew was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Sumugi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Oh, that's something that I hadn't thought of in my big old brain. But now that you mention that, that shit's gonna stick with me. Uh, someone um, else, but who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. Korikio's account has been added to the POW. POW, POW, POW. Hey Kibo, what were you doing and where during the body discovery announcement? Mm. Ah, my alibi. Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? Well. No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Um. So you don't have an alibi? <gasps> but Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Uh. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? That was not my intention! But I see, both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um, um, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course! And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very Thank you much. very much. But you don't need to be so PC. Kibo's account has been added, but it wasn't really useful because he doesn't have okay. an alibi. Putting aside the thing about Sumugi, now we have everyone's alibi. Huh? Huh? What about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're the detective and I'm not. Okay, so Kibo, Ryoma, and Ganta have some suspicion sprinkled on them. I don't know how I feel about that, though, because I like those characters. I do like Kibo, because he kind of reminds me of Nagito a little bit, just uh, physically. Like, the hair and the color of it. And I don't like this girl. I don't like you at all. Whoa, she freaking disappeared on me real quick. Uh, we got to talk to Samugi, right? And I like Ganta, because he's a gentle giant. And I like Ryoma, because he makes me laugh. Sometimes you just look at somebody, right? They're not doing anything funny. They're not funny looking either. You just look at them and you just can't help but laugh. That's me right now with Ryoma. Well, let's talk to Samugi. Um, hey, hey, Samugi, I need to ask you something. Hmm. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Hmm. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Samugi's skirt and began to lift it slowly. Got it? I'm gonna lift your skirt, Samugi. You okay with that? Ugh. Wait, Kaede! <laughs> you better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Suichi to see. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties! I understand. I, understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, took you long enough. Oh. Well, I can't let Shuichi's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. Uh, no, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying you've seen dirtier, Shuichi? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just going to cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me? Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible. I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Well, technically, you know, these people in this game, they're not real people, so she can't cosplay as them. But that's fourth wall breaking, and I don't think that we're doing that in this game. Um... You can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... Is. Cosplay isn't a disguise! Huh? Uh, uh sorry! I well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show you. Um, show me? How? Um, Come on, Kaede. Uh, Wait! Oh, we're gonna actually see the cosplay cosplay. Tsumigi grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. 
Are you gonna punch me? Or tie me up? Hey now. Hey now, there's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey. Now hurry up and take your clothes off. Huh? What? Why? Uh... Well, because I'm gonna cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Huh? But right? come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? What? I think she's going to show how it's impossible to look like Kaede if she tried to cosplay as somebody else. I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Sumugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Ew. What the hell? Why is she all pink and she looking like Thanos? A gross, bumpy rash had spread across Sumugi's body. Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. What the hell? <laughs> looking like Pepto-Bismol. Of the spiky headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is Cospox, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. Ooh. This is the price for my power. The hell, Pinky uh, in the brain okay, looking at us? I get it. Change out of my clothes already. I know, you're freaking us all out. Ew. Gonna give me a rash. I got itchy just looking at her. We exchanged our clothes, then returned to the library where Shuichi was waiting. I don't get it though. She just breaks down to a rash when she wears other people's clothes. Like, what the fuck? Okay. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh, Sumugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand, since you saw the Cospox, right? The Cospox. So, <laughs> cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them from fiction into the real world, like an oracle chanting the gods. Um, That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Right? Because that's not cosplay. It's just impersonating someone. Uh. I really didn't need that long explanation. Oh, ding dong? No, no, no ding dong bing bong! Huh? I don't even know who did it! Huh? This chime! No ding dong bing bong, baby! Come on, you can give me the ding dong, but not the bing bong right now. Oh, gang gang. It's gang gang. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photo's already... Oh, okay. Thank Buddha. Anyways, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Huh? Hey, does my face look weird to you? Has my face always looked this weird? So long, so long farewell. farewell. He's looking like he got into Rontaro's stash before he died. That dude was jittery. Hey. Did you hear that, Shuichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go. Come on, get a move on. I was going to say. Oh, wait, Kaede. We're about to get the ding dong bing bong, and I didn't even get the most important part. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. We're not going to get the full picture. I'm calling it right now. Like, spoiler alert from somebody who doesn't even know what's about to happen. I feel like we're just going to get, like, a foot or a toe, maybe a couple pinkies. I ran a full sprint to the warehouse. Well, we're not going to get, like, a face or anything. That's just how it's going to work. Wait! Oh, wait, Kaede. You shouldn't get so worked up. Please. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rise and shine hey, side. gang, gang! God, man. Gang, gang, though. Gang, gang. Oh, you came! We're in trouble. Sure did. I came to see you, toots. <laughs> you're as lovely as always. Oh, Manasuki, you're such a flirt. Aren't they brother and sister, though? Maybe step bro, you know? Maybe she got stuck in a dryer one time. That's her step bro. I don't know. Uh, may I join you for a drink? Drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great. Oh, hey, how long are you guys going to do this for? Ooh. Take these. Ooh. It's all the photos. They're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. Why does he look like he has my nuts on his forehead? Dead. Dead. Dumbass. <laughs> I'm so rich. What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Mono Fanny, wanna get out of here after your shift ends? <laughs> yeah, he's bought a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> What's your name and age? Home district, salary. Do you have another job? So long, so long gang, well. gang, gang. Especially you, Mono Kid, who never says anything. His silence is golden. Da, da, da. Uh, anyway, um... it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Oh, everybody came in here? Nosy sons of bitches, I um, tell you. Kaede, are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? How did they all know? Did they smell the developed photos? <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. All right, all right let's take a look. Um, let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. 
The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. All right, everybody, pay attention. This is crucial evidence. Pay attention. This is when we arrived at the library. So I took a picture then. Yeah, this was right before we found Rontaro's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. Rest assured, we do not care. Um, this is... Is this... It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tanko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Does it not help us at all? Gonta seems surprised. Angie is kind of just like flown in. The magician girl, she looks like she's sus. It's kind of like she's like, oh crap, they found the body. That's the yeah. kind of look. Yeah, okay. Hmm. This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. You know. Hey, these are all the pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. There is one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. I haven't found anything sus yet, everybody. Huh? Huh? Shuichi. Oh. oh, sorry. Looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the cameras. What are you saying? Uh, um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. Okay, I got nothing from that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The camera pointed at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. Front entrance photos has been added to us. Neither Rontaro nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in these photos. Did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance then. Yeah. Hmm, only two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Let's see the first picture. Uh, Rontaro! I knew so it. Rontaro went in through the rear entrance, perhaps so no one would see him. I, see. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered, but that does not appear to be the case. If so. so that means he was killed in the library after going there of his own will. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. It better not show Ganta. Aw, oh, come on, what? dude! Dude, sorry. love taking pictures, huh? Oh, sorry, me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Uh, what an attention hog. No. He had no choice. To remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. Hmm, I got nothing from that one either. So that means the person didn't come through the rear entrance. So we got to rely on the third camera. That's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. Rear entrance photos has been added to the plow, 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 plow. What does this mean? They're not in either of the front or the rear pictures. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey, hey Shuichi, don't you think that's weird? Uh, Let's look um... at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That camera should have captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... Let me guess, the second one was Shuichi again? Huh. Uh... Wait, is that his shadow behind the bookcase? Oh, Rontaro. Hmm. But if Rontaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then oh. he must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? I see. Yes, that is a possibility. Do you understand? For now, let us see the next picture. There was one remaining, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Please don't be Shuichi again. Please, for the love of God, what the? Huh? What? Hmm? Huh? What's Rontaro doing? Yeah. Looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Ah. Oh. Ah, I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so... In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. Hmm. But that would mean that Rontaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way... Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved, so why did the sensor activate? I don't Who cares? It. What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? This last photo must have been taken shortly before Rontaro was killed. However, if so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Uh, then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? That's actually pretty creepy. The fact that he died moments after he turned the sensor off. Da, da, da. Hidden door photos has been added. Okay, I'm really trying to figure this one out, guys. Like, I'm really trying to just like get everybody's stories processing through my head real quick and figuring out what's not adding up. That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a freaking waste. Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones that showed the culprit? 
Uh, how rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. You Those are all the photos from the hidden cameras, so relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around. These are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how did they kill Rontaro? Mm. Eh, so this must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? I think it might be her. A perfect crime. I'm disappointed. Oh man, I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By the way. Oh, by the way. <laughs> what? Hmm. Rontaro had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything was in it? I do his not student agree. handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. Well. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I inspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything sus about it. Oh, oh man. Yeah. So it's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Uh -huh. Why? Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. <laughs> so why the hell? Uh, Kaede. Um... Oh, the real ding dong, bing bong. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, so we got ding dong, got a big old ding dong, got a big old bing bong, all and right. now we gotta do the first it's case. Time for what you've all been waiting for. Before we end the, the episode, though, I gotta trial. take a look at something. Please assemble in front of the shrine of judgment in the courtyard. The shrine of judgment? Is Remember you kidding me, baby? Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. All right, Mickey Mouse. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> see you all there! Woohoo! See you all there! Thanks for stopping by! Hoo -hoo. Come back to Disneyland anytime! <gasps> Time already! That is correct. It seems we have no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> <sighs> I don't want to go. What a pain. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> <laughs> what, you scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's and right. then everything, including this killing game, will come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Got it. Let's find this mastermind. And if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? Everyone follow Monica's instructions and walk toward the courtyard. No, before we do that, I just want to take a look at the clues one more time before I end the episode. But I think we're going to talk to Shuichi one time. Or let's ask his opinion. <laughs> Are you okay? Kaede, really, are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Right? Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Yes, it is. But before we do that, I need to take a look at the clues real quick. The victim is Rontaro Mami. His ultimate talent is unknown. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9, 10 p.m. Okay, there's nothing there. Stack of books. Nothing has changed since Shuichi and Kaede placed the hidden cameras. The book Kaede stacked in front of the vent were left exactly the way they were. The receiver, the security alarms receiver. A sensor was placed on the moving bookcase, so in case someone moved the bookcase, it would notify Shuichi, okay? And the bloody murder weapon found on the floor in the library. It seems to be the same as the shot put balls in the warehouse. So that puts suspicion on Ryoma for me because he's the ultimate tennis player, but you hit the ball with a racket. But you can also pass the ball too when you're giving the ball to the other person on the other side. So he could have precision in that. Let's see this one. Rontaro's belongings. Rontaro's personal belongings. He had a key to his dorm room and a monopad. He did not have anything that looked like a card key. Library vents. Um, could Ryoma have fit in there? The vent grate was still propped open exactly the way Kaede left it when they set up the hidden cameras. Connected to the classroom vent on the first floor. It could have been him, huh? Maybe he was hiding in there, went through the vents, left through the classroom, and then went with the people inside the room. Hold on, let's see something. Let's see something real quick. So when they all came in, let's see the photos. Um, Ryoma, he's in the third photo. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm confused, I'm so confused. So what I'm getting from all these photos is that the killer was inside of the library the entire time and he was just chilling, right? Connected to the library vent. Both Kaede and Shuichi were on watch until the security alarm went off. 
it was not possible for anyone to sneak into the library by going through the vent, but it could have been possible for someone to go in the vent back into the classroom and leaving that way. And Ryoma is small enough to fit through there. So, oh man. We're gonna figure it out as we go on in the next episode. 50,000 likes and we are gonna get through the first class trial of Danganronpa V3. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!